welcome ladies and gentlemen back to trail makers and last week i attempted to break the sound barrier using nothing but propeller power and this was the fastest vehicle i could come up with and as you can see it is not really coming that close to breaking the sound barrier uh max horizontal speed is about 720 and uh, gravity assisted speed, if I'm going straight down, gets up to like 760 or so. And uh, that was the best I could do. So I thought it might be fun to challenge viewers of the channel and trail makers builders to attempt to do better than I did. I was thinking after building this that maybe it's not really possible to legitimately break the sound barrier using only propeller power. So I was curious if anyone could do better. And even if it's not possible to break the sound barrier, I just wanted to see what other people built and how fast they went. So I got about 18 submissions here and I'm gonna try to get to as many as I can. I may not have time to show all of them in the video. And I am aware that some of them take advantage of the no drag glitch, which is essentially a glitch in the game that eliminates all drag from your vehicle. So because that does eliminate the main obstacle of this challenge, which is building a aerodynamically sound vehicle, uh, I'm going to put those in a separate category from vehicles that don't use glitches okay so first off by remco 1113 is prop plane 5.0 and the claim is that this can go uh 811 kilometers per hour going down so this looks similar whoa this is interesting this looks somewhat similar to my method except the wedges are horizontal in relation to the seat and they're also staggered in a strange way but this is just near the complexity limit at 686 out of 700 complexity so I'm going to try to uh, do horizontal speed and gravity assisted speed just to get a comparison to uh, how it feels compared to mine. And I'm trying to pitch down. Oh boy, this thing is glitchy. All right, we have horizontal speed. So this thing is definitely faster than mine. 736, 737 horizontal speed. Mine can only get up to about 720. All right, now I'm going to start going down. He said 811. Let's see how close we can get to 811. I don't know if I went up high enough. The higher up I go, the more down I have to go. Oh, I'm not going straight down. All right, we broke 800. So this is the first time I've seen 800 be broken with propellers only. And I think this is a legitimate non-glitch, non-exploit build. But still, we're pretty far away from the sound barrier. So I'm just gonna go in order from first to last that I subscribe to. I haven't actually tried any of these, so you're seeing you're seeing it the first time that I'm seeing it. All right, so this one is called Breaking the Sound Barrier with Only Propellers by Mr. Noob123146. And this one, I do believe, uses the drag glitch. So the drag glitch isn't something that I've ever used, at least not on purpose. But I guess the way it works is uh, you can see inside here, there's a detachable block for all of these wedge things. And I guess if you detach these blocks when your creation gets spawned in like that, you get to shed all of the weight, but the glitch essentially removes all of the aerodynamics present in those blocks. So uh, this should essentially be a dragless uh, version of this. And I don't know if, I oh no. All right, here we go. Yeah, so any creation where parts fall off when we spawn it in is gonna be in the uh, glitch category. All right, so here we are going straight up and whoa, look at our straight up vertical speed. We're already well, can, can I break the sound barrier going vertical with this thing? This is crazy. We're already over a thousand. All right, now we're going horizontal. There we are. Can we do it without using gravity? We're like almost there. I'm trying to stay horizontal. We're going, oh, there we go. We officially broke the sound barrier. This is actually a cool looking vehicle too. I like this one. And there's no sound anymore. We, oh wait, sound is, fading back in that's weird it would make sense that there would be no sound because we're going faster than sound but it was weird that it all of a sudden started fading back in so there we go this is the first sound barrier breakage i've seen with propellers only granted that this does use a uh, no drag glitch but yeah let's do it one more time ready and here we go all right that's cool all right, good job on the design. I'm still not sure if it's possible to do it without glitches though. I may have actually given an impossible challenge, at least without, you know, breaking the rules. 
which is kind of interesting because I believe it's impossible to break the sound barrier with propellers in real life too. I just didn't expect trail makers to resemble real life in that sense. I mean, I broke the sound barrier underwater going the same speed as the sound barrier in, in air. So is it really that unreasonable to expect to be able to break the sound barrier using propellers? So this one also appears to use the uh, drag glitch. And this is by Dominator, a prop powered sonic boom thing. All right, just there's just one control, just space. Oh, it goes that way. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to go that way. It doesn't look like it goes that way. Whoops. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, wow. This doesn't even have any actual control services. It just uses the seat. This is a really simple design. This is even simpler. This is one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. We already did it. I didn't think. Whoa. I should have taken a look. I forgot to look at the max speed of the other one. This is crazy. Look at how fast this is going. What? Hold on a second. What? That one was so fast. All right, I got to keep track of the records here because I'm going to use the uh, horizontal airspeed as the official measurement. So if we're going horizontal with this thing, it's like uh, around 260, 270. It naturally starts to pitch down, so it's hard to stay perfectly horizontal. And by 260, I meant 1260. But this one, this one reached speeds that, like, I don't even think it reached its max speed by the time that I got to the edge of the uh, map. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. This thing, I don't think it would stop. I think this thing is legitimately no drag, as if we were in space, just gaining more and more velocity. Okay, up next, we have 805 Prop Boy by King of Yogurt. The, the most efficient design I could think of with as little drag and weight as possible. This one might not use the drag glitch then. This is a nice, oh, this is a really nice looking design. Look at this thing. This thing looks cool. All right, so far, this one definitely wins the aesthetic award. Where's the seat? There's the seat. All right, this is in the no glitch category. Uh, I forgot what the horizontal speed was for the first one. I'll have to look again uh, and compare it to this one. But we're going to try to go horizontal now. About 7, I'm going to say about 720 because now we're starting to go down with gravity. All right, I'm going to bring it down with gravity. See what our max speed can be with the, with the assistance of gravity here. There it is, 800. 802, 803, 804, 805. I saw 805. Wow. He was right. <laughs> 805 was the actual max. Wow. This one's almost 740 horizontal airspeed. So our first one is the current record holder for horizontal airspeed. 735, I'm going to say. All right. So as it stands, non-glitch horizontal airspeed is 735. Glitch horizontal airspeed, 2800 over 2800 it's, it's too fast to count okay up next by woolly griffin this is supersonic propeller challenge 821 so this might be a potentially new record all right let's see what is different about this whoa what this is a weird design there seems to like to me it seems like all of those bottom wedges are extra they must be there for a reason oh boy there it goes Oh man, these builds are so big. The game is like, it doesn't know what to do with all the parts. It just, it's all glitchy and unstable. All right, here we are. We're leveling off. Can it beat 735 before it starts to angle downwards? I'm trying to keep it level here. 740. This thing, look at that. We're at horizontal airspeed. This is 740 horizontal airspeed. Narrowly beat the last one. All right, now let's go straight down. We'll check the gravity. Oh, and we're out of the map. All right, here we go. 811, 812, 814, 15, 16, 17. I was able to get it up to 818. This one's actually a lot harder to control to get it going down against gravity. So 818 was my record with this one, but uh, the creator apparently got a much faster record than that. 836, apparently. All right, almost supersonic prop stick by Jess2005. Just press space and wait. Simple as that. E to overwrite the return function. What did, what is the return function? What is there like some automated stuff in this? This one has a ton of wedge blocks on it. Oh, I think I see what's going on here. I guess there's an automatic pitch and roll on this, which I'm going to say is allowed because this is, those aren't contributing to velocity. They're just contributing to control. But it seems this is just doing it all of itself. I'm just pressing space and waiting like the instructions said. But I couldn't get a horizontal airspeed with that one. But we are past 818, 820, 821. 
There we go. 824, 25. It's starting to go like perfectly down now. 829. I did not see 830, but I did see 829. That's the fastest I've seen going down so far. All right, so I'm gonna do another flight. Uh, they said E to overwrite the return function, which I am going to have to do, I think, in order to get a horizontal airspeed. All right, and here we go. Looking for horizontal airspeed measurement. Look at this. 743, and that looks... Oh, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. That looks pretty horizontal to me. I think 743 is a new record, just above 740. All right, up next, we have Scrabby Super Sonic Prop Challenge, 1500 miles per hour with slight glitches by Curtis Sam. All right, so here it is. Uh, I'm confused about how this actually... Whoa. What? This is... What? It can go that fast with just this? Does it retain like the power from the other propellers or something? What? Look at this, this is insane. Man, the power of glitches, right? Is this also gonna be a 2800 one? 28, yeah, I think 2800 is the max speed um, according to map limitations, at least in this map. All right, up next is Mach 0.25, which is not Mach 1, by Supercrafter Bros. So let's see what the, wait, this thing has wheels on it. Why does this thing have wheels on it? All right, well, let's see what happens. Am I even gonna be able to fly this thing? Uh-oh. <laughs> Is this thing supposed to be a ground vehicle? You know what, maybe I should be going into the test map. I'm gonna go into the test map. All right, we're back in the test map. I definitely think this was designed to be a land speed propeller uh, vehicle, which was not expected. This is definitely one of a kind. And by the looks of it, we're about there. We're about at the max, almost 400, 394. Can we get to 395? Nope, looks like we're steady at 394. All right, well, that was definitely an interesting perspective by Supercraft Bros. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna test now if uh, if this map has a wider horizontal distance to be traveled. Can I break 200 or uh, 2,800? There we go, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 3,000, 31, 32, 33, 34, wow. All right, 37. All right, so the question becomes, can this thing actually break that uh, limit? 44, 35, 36, 30, ooh, okay. I didn't see it hit 37, but I did see it. It was, it was just about to get there. So I think 3,700 is the new glitch record. It's taken me a very long time to fall down out of the sky from there. All right, up next, we have 800 kilometers per hour propeller craft by Altosis. All right, whoa, this thing has a lot of wedges. This is interesting. This is uh, six wide for propellers. This is the widest craft I've seen. About 727 to 729, not quite 730. And I think our record was, what, 743 horizontal right now? All right, now let's try our vertical speed. Can we break 800 like you said? Uh oh Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't give myself nearly enough height. That was a really satisfying crash, though, wasn't it? Oh, here we go. 790, 800, 801, 802. I just had to go a little bit higher to break 800 there. 804, 805 is the maximum that I'm seeing on this one. Is that what he said in the description? Uh, even better than 800. All right. All right, here we go. By Taser Laser, this is Supersonic Prop Plane. Uses the, another one that uses the no drag glitch. Oh, look at that. All right, so on the build, you can see there's all these pipe pieces. Yeah, I guess they're just there to eliminate all of the drag on the rest of this thing. Only four propellers on this one. So can this break 3,700 before we hit the wall? Let's see. Trying to keep it level here. All right, there we go. There's a sonic boom. We're doing pretty well with being level, but whenever it tips down, I am going to have to tilt it back up to try to keep a fair horizontal speed. 28, 29, 3,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ooh. Man, the one that has the least amount of parts in the air has been the fastest by far, which I guess with the zero drag glitch makes the most sense because it has the least mass. All right, up next, what is this one by Tactful Bean? Apparently 770 with no gravity. What? This is a completely different design than anything else for this. And this definitely, I don't think this uses the glitch, does it? Nope. This is gonna be interesting. 
So the claim right now, 743 was what I thought to be the max airspeed without glitches. And this is claiming to be 770. Let's see if we can actually confirm that. All right, here we go. This is a full horizontally built propeller system. Very unusual. All right, we're now pretty much level. It flies decently level. Whoa, look at that. We're at 749 going level, 750. Trying to keep level. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, up next by Hyro. Oh, another one that says 740. All right, there we are. We're pretty much horizontal now. Add it to horizontal speed, 754, 755. Yeah, so this one's a lot easier to hold horizontal than the last one, but this is at 756. The other one was just barely breaking 750 at horizontal. So I think this is the fastest non-glitch one so far going horizontally, which is 757. All right, by Okaj75, this one does use glitches with a glitch, but I thought it would still be funny, so here it is. All right, so that's what it looks like in build mode. He even put design elements on this thing. They're, they're just gonna fall off, aren't they? What is the point of the weight? Does the weight get like somehow calculated in after it gets detached? I don't know. All right, and then it's final form. Wow, this is the final form right here. This is still more parts than uh, the that other one that reached 3,700. I'm just gonna get to the edge of the map on the ground and then we're gonna do an airspeed challenge. Look, we're still gonna, we still broke the sound barrier, no problem on the ground. Okay, here it goes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh no. Ah! Come on, come on, get out of the ground. There we go, there we go. All right, we're in the air. No! Okay, all right, come on, come on, come on. Maintain control. No, 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 no. No, 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 that way. Just a, a way that's not towards the wall. Oh uh, boy, I don't know this one. I don't know about this one. I do not know about this one. All right, well, there's the sound barrier. I don't really have control over this thing. It's not the most symmetrical vehicle, but let's see how fast it gets. I know I'm gonna hit a wall sooner than I should. Yep, there it is. We got like 2,600. I'm sure it could go faster, but it is so hard to control that I just can't get it on a reliable trajectory. Okay, up next, 500 plus kilometers an hour by uh, blank face. Oh, this is another car. It's even got googly eyes. Why'd you put those googly eyes are probably hurting. I don't know if uh, aesthetic pieces actually have aerodynamic. What is this? Do those aesthetic pieces have aerodynamic resistance? Well, there aren't arrows on them, so maybe they don't actually matter. That's interesting. All right, well, let's see how fast this goes. This is another land vehicle. What? It's got sparks coming out of the back too. That's pretty cool. What is with the middle section? The middle section is on like a servo? Why? All right, 504. But yeah, it looks like we can't go any faster than 505 on this one. All right, we got two more left now. This one, apparently 798. Is that including? Needs the aid of gravity. Well, let's see what we can do horizontal as well. This is by PD Gamer 2502 We got some fancy colors on this one. Why did it spawn it so far away from me? All right, horizontal speed. It is tough to maintain a horizontal trajectory, but it's looking like 727. Yeah, about 727 horizontal speed. Let's go ahead and head back down. See how fast we can go on our way down. 801 on this one that I could get. <laughs> Even better than his record. All right, he's at 798. Underestimated yourself on that one. All right, and we got one more here. Sonic Boom Prop Challenge by Scrapman completed by Insanity Compromise. All right, so does this one... Oh, oh wow. Yeah, this one also uses the drag glitch. I'm gonna get to the edge of the map and uh, we're gonna try this once again. All right, the record to beat is 3,700. Oh my, I can't even fly, I'm flying upside down. All right, this is just the tra trajectory I'm flying at. I don't have a lot of control over this thing, surprisingly. All right, whoa, this one, what? It's slowing down. This one has, it seems to have capped its max speed just above Mach 1. That is not what I was expecting with the using the no drag glitch. All right, and into the wall we go. Supersonic crash. All right, so here they are for my testing. This was the fastest one I could make go horizontally that doesn't use glitches. And this was the fastest one I could make go horizontally that does use glitches. And that's its final form. That's what it looks like after the glitch is implemented. So uh, <laughs> very, very different vehicles. So the no glitch one was by Hyro and the glitch one was by Curtisom. So I think as of now, the conclusion seems to be that it is actually an impossible challenge 
to legitimately break the sound barrier using propellers. And the only way to do it is by using the no drag glitch. Maybe there's some type of crazy configuration that doesn't use any glitches that we just haven't discovered yet with propellers that can somehow get us past the sound barrier. But considering that breaking 800 seems to be enough of a challenge in of itself, 1234 just seems a little, little ways away. So thank you everyone for submitting your creations and thanks for putting the effort into trying to uh, beat the challenge. If you guys have any other ideas of what you'd like to see on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff that you can see on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.